Another episode of The Chronicles. Oh, I thought you were going to say back again. You always say back, back again. again. Yep. Um, I take no credit for this. Um, a lovely uh, Instagram friendo. Oh, um, but said, okay, she owned. You should go here. And so we went there. So she gets full credit. She's a legend. She knows who she is. This is... Oh, a Nails- she, I a see. She. This is Nailsworth. Um, in Gloucestershire. Well, it's on the way to Gloucestershire. I don't know if it counts as Gloucestershire, but it does count as the Cotswolds, which I think is actually not correct, but apparently, geographically, it is. So you're wrong. I am wrong. Can I just but... one more t- say it one more time? I am not correct. <laughs> I like it. I'm not very good at geography. Geography is not my fan. I thought you were going to say I'm not very good at saying I'm not wrong, but that's no. true as well. So this is a little Cotswold town. This is actually a really nice little Cotswold town. Um, weird fact, my brother used to work here for a very long time. Worked and lived here. Did you know that, Austin? I did indeed, Bethany. We have been together a long time. <laughs> These in my hand are Grenson shoes. Um, Grenson, for anyone who doesn't know, um, really, really nice, high-quality shoe. Their uh, patent leather shoes go very well. These are like a, um, they call them high shine. The actual, their patent leather, they never really reference a patent leather. It's always called high shine. So something to look out for. And something if you're listening and you have some mention that word, because I found as soon as you check that, it's helpful. £149. That's, you know, that's good. That's good. And they were like 15 quid. 15 quid. Bargain. uh, Fantastical. This was about, because I was checking all about, and it was from something called um, Country Boys or Boy. I can't even remember now. Like, it's just whiz past. Apologies. But I thought that could be a cool belt. It was very heavy duty. The buckle was nice. The leather was good. It was worth a zip. Interestingly, though, we talk a lot about labels um, because we're big label people. We're the luxury pickers. But most things will sell on style. So use your instincts. Use your taste um because yeah. most things will like if it's a cool country belt it doesn't matter if it's got a brand technically well i'll give you an example this is a quilted coat which most people would recognize as a barber style coat yes in the same respect the wax wax jacket most people would reference barber i know you can't do that in listings and so on but i'm saying yeah if you're kind of quilted jacket that that comes from pretty much yeah. in, my, in my book that comes from the and barber that was realm. A, land rover merch and land rover merch does really well um, any car merch does really well but what you I would say you're looking for is logoing. Yeah, uh, 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 any kind of branding. embroidery, uh, print, usually embroidered actually because they're usually quite expensive. Well, or people, quite expensive people want to say, look, I've got a Land Rover or yeah. look, I really like Land Rovers. Yeah, it, it's, it's uh, yeah, I understand what you're saying. It's kind of like a, not a show off thing, but like you, they want to show they're part of that kind of group. Yeah, like it's like goes back to like old school car clubs and yeah, yeah, cool. stuff like that, isn't it? Or Hells Angel Biker Clubs, if or that's what you're Hell's into. Or Hells Angel Biker Clubs. I would much rather be into that. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that. Oh, check the Belks, folks. Belks? Belks. Belks. I like Belks. Check the Belks and the, and the TIs. TIs, yep. <laughs> we haven't... Uh, we, what have we... What have we picked up recently? We sold recently, belt-wise. I just sold a belt, literally, today. It was a Hobbs uh, patent Hobbs. leather... Um, burgundy belt we picked up for a pound when we were last in Cardiff. It was a glorious Cardiff. belt, don't get me wrong. It was a very nice condition, but that's just sold for uh, 20 on Vinted. So don't Not thi- set in the world light, but it's making £19 from literally a pound. This is a dress. From Max Mara Weekend. Max Mara Weekend. Everyone knows that I have a love for the Max Maras. This is really nice, actually. The, the qual- uh, quality, the content, the fabric content is really nice. As you can see, it's like a fleece wool, um, tailored dress. Max Mara, we have included comps f- from eBay because I know most people use eBay. However, I would suggest uh, selling your Max Mara on other selling sites such as Vestier, etc. Cross list. Use Zipzel. We use Zipzel for anyone who's interested. Zipzel is a cross listing app and it's really good and quick and easy and you can list it across all of them. Apart from Vestier. You also had someone that you give um some information to a couple of days ago sell something on Vestier for Max Mar- no, I know that was, oh, no, Max no, Mar- was ages ago, but they sold it a couple of days they ago. They sold it, yeah. I'm it saying. was this amazing blazer with like these like frilly arms. Ruffle oh sleeves. my goodness. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. And that for went for for them it went for about two hundred, I think, on Vestier. So that was full line Max Mara. But Max Mara definitely I find personally uh, does a little bit better on Vestier. So up to you. But that is what I would recommend. We're on to the next store. Um, I was going to say what's in store in the next store, but that this sounds is really Emus. stupid. I mentioned Emus before. Emus? What's it's Emus? It's not called Emus at all. It's called an en- Enemus. Enemus? Emus. What's it called? Uh, like, I can't it help It was you. on the floor then. I, even if E-M-M-A-U-S. I could, I don't want to help you right now. It's too much fun listening to you tell me where it's supposed to be. This is a big old shop. Um, yeah, there were quite a few rails in this one. 
Never been to this one once, once again. Haven't been to this town before. It's picking, have we? No, driven through it a few times. It's got, technically, it's got four charity shops. If we missed any, then please do let me know. Um, but it's technically got four, and it's sort of like a, what, I, what I would call a boutique Somerset town. So there's, a, there's only a few, but... But you do get some, some, some quality. It's got a... It, the house prices are high. Yep. That's what I'm going to say. Nice bag there by a brand called Gnarly. They do sell it on ASOS, but very nice. I just thought it was nice. Nice. Gnarly. Gnarly. N A L I. Okay. Gnarly. That says gnarly, right? I, 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 I left this in because I thought it was funny. Yeah, well, to be honest with you, if you can see the logo, if you if you know um, Paul and Shark, I was just amazed because the actual quality of this coat, right? Even the buttons, I don't know if I, yeah, I show the buttons up. Up close, it was literally the Paul Shark logo with a different brand in. There's a Paul Shark logo. Um, I, I just it obviously was some kind of knockoff or some kind of like I, I even had to Google it because it was it was well made. It was in shell. Um, I don't know. It was just it was just weird to see. You know, sometimes like before brands become brands, they use the logo. Or they have some, what they have like what's the word? Not sisters. Um, yeah, uh, diffusion. like diffusion or whatever. That's what I'm saying. So, but it was nothing. So there you go. You live and learn. Oh, it's interesting though to see um, the the how. I don't know what's in Spit it out. I, I lost my train of thought. Move on. Just move on. Forget about me. Uh, Leave me back in the trenches. <laughs> Okie dokie. Going back to, going back to what, we were, what I was saying was, um, yes, I don't know. Like, it obviously was. It was I did some research. It was nothing. But, you know, that's, that's the way it goes sometimes. Talking of things that are nothing. Whoop, whoop. What a beaut. Look at that. Beautiful. There is actually a weird market for things like this because people like to wear, like, I, what I would call a gaudy fake. Um... We don't boot, touch man. them because, ooh. But but if you're either either is you can you I, can sell. We did it. a whole podcast on it. Um, it was a it wasn't a YouTube podcast. It was a podcast podcast. Um, which you can get on iTunes or wherever you get your podcast. All about bootlegs, fakes, and the history yeah. of them. Actually, no, it was on YouTube. Actually, you go watch on YouTube. It is technically illegal to sell them though. Just so everyone knows. Um, this is Bam. You you um, say that every time. I know because I want to reiterate why I feel so strongly about it. This is Bam. Uh, this is Bam. Um, this is a Bam. Why is it called Bam? Bam Bethany. Because I made a bamboo fibre or yep. whatever. Um, it's a, like a athleisure sportswear brand they sell really well bread and butter you can get 20 25 like uh nicely harris brand i actually hate selling harris brand but Same. i know some of the coats do really well and vi more vintage pieces just a side note why i was looking at labels so closely firstly my eyesight's terrible but secondly um sometimes you know you see like burberry max and, and things like that yeah, which are made you, for yeah. harrods right yeah. some of the early stuff from harrods was harrods f by yeah. So the Harrods logo would be large, and the, the if it was like a high end like Burberry, yes. for example, was very small. So always check the Harrods um, uh, label things. There also was a little Paul Smith tailored number. Love picking up Paul Smith sells really well. This is All Saints now. Their crazy like print shirts always go for good money. Bread and butter, honestly, I actually really enjoy selling them. I know I can't, you know, if they're cheap, I'll pick them up because they just they do go and they got that like Harry Styles half button down, you know, like rock star vibe. She's found a dreamer. This was a dress. It was blue and it had, it was mulberry. It was seven pound. It's got um, a tree. It's got the tree logo embroidered there, um, but it is old label. So that's a 90s label. But I thought that the style was contemporary enough to purchase. Very large and lucky. Yes. This is Hey Hey. Hey Hey. Hey. Um, uh, I call it an anthropology brand because it is an anthropology brand. It is an anthropology brand. Um, and they sell really well. And I really like it's one of those brands I actually enjoy picking up from anthropology. It's an easy brand. Yeah. They relax. I find their relaxed trousers go a bit better. They do like a lot of like. Um, like, like combats or like. Uh, no, like no, the opposite. Pants? Like um, velvet, oh, lounge, really? panty, like boho, chicy stuff. Panty. This is the Couples. The Couples is a brand I personally love. Um, it's very grunge. I would call it um, luxury high street. It's not high end high street. It's better than high end high street. I would call it Marilyn Manson in a knit. But it's like it's expensive. No, it's not, yes, it's not. It's like but they do have high street shops. This this was a, um, a vintage sweater which they kind of repurposed, or I think like um, um, outfits has kind of put the label in and blah blah blah. Good old urban outfits. Thanks for nothing, you high street. You know what? <laughs> that was aggressive. I, I hate urban outfits with a passion. I, know, I don't I know mind people, it. Some people say I'm negative, but I honestly, urban outfits. No, I, I, I don't. Like, I hate with a passion. I, I, I suppose this is a tad strong, but I, 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 I just being 
Well, I like vintage, vintage. It's great. It's great for like um, predicting trends. Like if you want to know what the kids are wearing, go to Urban Outfitters. Yeah, and also if you're starting like to to sell vintage, go to Urban Outfitters. And, I can't and remember who just... it is. Someone on Instagram did it and went for Urban Outfitters and That's took nice. pictures of the things. What's this that? This is a day burger at Michelson. Why can't you just say with burger? Like, as in day by... Is it, is it night or day? No, because it's... Yeah, day burger at Mexican, because that's the full name of it. Um, this is another brand I prefer selling not on eBay. Um, I prefer selling on Vestiaire. Um, it's sort of a... Is it... Is it Denmarkian? Uh, I don't know. I believe it, it's... It's very Scandi... It's very Scandi chic I style. I believe it, yeah. I believe it's sort of that part of the world yeah 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 if that makes sense no it does um and i just thought that was a really cool like tailored piece i thought it was very y2k like you can imagine someone like having their christina aguilera phase and wearing it with like low rice jeans it's, it's very cool and actually has like buttons on each side i'm not crazy like it's not crazy at all but the thing is that it doesn't do up with the buttons yeah it actually has those like you know what they, they call the little clasps yeah, like a hook and eye. Yeah, a hook and eye. Uh, so they're kind of invisible. You Side know note, mean? check your knits. Because I am not going home with a hole. That's what just happened in the previous clip. Is that what happened? Yeah, I was checking for holes. Do you know what? One of the easiest, quickest ways, is, especially if, you've got to, if, you're, in a, if you're in a brightish um, shop, hold up to the light, and that sounds really obvious, but a lot of the time you'll catch it, especially if it's a yeah. good knit, you'll see. Yes. You know? Or, if you don't, you know. don't blame me. <laughs> this was a vintage shop opposite. It was a charity shop. Now... I have no idea why I'm filming this. I don't know... No, I just wanted to show the variety of stock they had. And if I'm anyone obviously looking was someone else. interested, probably. But they had a lot of vintage... Um, they had a lot of fabric. Let's take the vintage off that. They had a lot of fabric. And if anyone's interested in reselling curtains or fabric, or even just haberdashery or anything, it was a cute shop. I It wasn't great. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't for us to buy, though, was it? No, know? but I don't think it was a great store. This was me trying to work out how I actually get into this shop. Yes. Um, and usually the doors. The problem is, is that, as you can see, there's a coat on the back of the door, which kind of looks like usually a bit... Usually the doors. What? Usually. Yeah, but there were three of them, and I had a coat on the back of it, so give me a break. Welcome to the most expensive charity shop in the world, bar no other charity shop literally, ever. Literally, the one of the most expensive... Well, the most expensive I've ever been in. Like, I can't explain to you... So let's start off. Let's start off on, on, on the low side. Oh, I'm pointing to it as we speak. What is it? It is an ape. It's a bathing ape. It's a bape. It's not an ape. It's not... Anyway, it's, it's original bathing ape. Um, and it is a, a space t-shirt, which we'll see in a moment. We're currently looking at... What are we looking at? The knickknacks. The bric-a-brac. You, 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 the you, fun you, stuff. You, you're a knickknacker, aren't you? Definitely. You, you enjoy a knickknack or two. I was talking to my mum about oh, this Oh, the glasses, kids. Because we went to the flea market. And I was talking about it. And do you know what? In my personal life, I hate knickknacks. You do trinkets. And I it's hate not you them. at all. No. I know. But when it comes to, like, picking, I love them. Um, this is a charged cream Creamer? dispenser. From Vogue. You can't say cream. I've already told you. Why? Because it sounds a bit weird. No, it doesn't. It's a creamer. <laughs> it doesn't even say creamer. It says, it says cream yeah. dispenser. Um, I'm, <laughs> so this is the T-shirt. It is from um, Selfridges. Um, it's original, 100% authentic. Um, I don't know how much it was. It was 40 quid? 40 it was 40, quid. which was half of technical retail. Yeah. I think um, I think I had... A, I don't think you were going to include it because you are poopy. But I think it was on... Um, Grailed? No, not grailed. Stock X. Stock X. Stock X. Yeah, they are. Oh. Um, this this particular shirt goes actually goes for quite a bit. The only thing is, um, if I'm honest, without sounding negative, is there are so many. It was a retail shirt, so it was just a case of anything that got, which is a little bit different from Bape. Oh, it's like same as Supreme. Usually goes like for resale. The problem with this particular shirt is they made a lot of these style of shirts. As yes. in, it was a mass of it. It's not. It, it it was bought out a long, long time ago. So they make they produce so many of the items. You might you might find they go for a few quid, but there are so many of them to try and sell yours at that top price. Oh, look cute. You know. Yeah, it's a sitter, and it's whether you want forty pounds sitting. And it also that's it also my, says yeah. that that's that's top price for a specific size. That, that on, on just to let you know, like there's the, you 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 have to check your specific size and specific condition. Yes. On StockX. This is a pair of boots. These are Valentino. They're the rock stud boots. 
Um, they are three hundred and seventy-five pounds used. Used. That is a used boot. Lightly no, used, in fairness. No box or anything. That is retail. Eight hundred and fifty pound retail. Yeah, that makes sense. I would. I would expect to get back if I'm pushing it, and I'm gonna wait for them to sell three hundred. You wouldn't sell them for three seven five, would you? No, no. I wouldn't. Would. I wouldn't put no. them up for three seven five just because. Now I'm gonna tell you for why. As uh, what we would describe as luxury specialist is, it's not. Rock stud from Valentino is obviously a very desired thing. Men's rock stud boots aren't. So I mean, they're a lovely thing. They're beautiful. Rock, rock stud shoes from ladies. Rock stud flats or ballet flats for ladies. Rock stud trainers for men. But rock stud boots um, for men. It's such Espe- a specific, especially, especially a laced boot. And not a ch- even, even Chelsea boot would be more like stylistic right now. And I do think they sell. Don't get me wrong. I really, really do. I, but I, for, I wouldn't they, pay listen, 375. I was just going to say, if they were £10, I can talk about style all day long and you'd, you'd, you'd sell them for a fair few quid, that's right? That's outlet price new. Yes. And it is the type of thing that would probably go to outlet because it is a more niche thing. Well, funny enough, um, we see later on, we see, we, you'll see other brands and they've all these things, including that Baden Ape, all dropped off and all were the one, the one kind of one body size and same shoe size, same as these, Jimmy Choo. I think this is more reasonable, if I'm honest. £80. Pounds. These are Jimmy uh, Jimmy Choo uh, Grove um, uh, slip-on trainers. They're men's. They're really, really popular at one point. They've, they've dropped in popularity slightly. You can still get... I would get my... my if I had some many people like 125, 130... The 250s you just so then they do sell, but they have to be a massive size. Box as well, they were. Or they have to be new. That was a me and M skirt for fifty pounds. How many? Five zero. Holy moly. Um, but yeah, going back to um the Jimmy Choos, there's some there, there are some Jimmy Choos which sell really well. They aren't one of those. They were very like of the time. Yeah. Jimmy Choos is one of those things that's been they've been around for a while. There's a lot of them. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mass. It, is a, it is a flooded market. Now they are obviously they are worth exactly the the price, but it's a long game. It's whether you want to play the long game. And they don't have really have many contemporary styles. When I say that, like there are certain companies who are like had uh, like specific silhouettes of shoes and trainers absolutely like bang and, and be off the brick to scale as regards cool stuff. Yeah. They haven't. There's recently. a couple of things like the off white collab and things like that I would I look out for but they did a Moogler collab as well the, this was a Escada 100% cashmere um, sold a scene fifty sold a scene so I gave it to Austin to inspect and, and if you check if you do roll back the footage there was a button which was like a, a incre- like a jewel encrusted button which was missing a big big old jewel as a button yeah, this this shot was mind boggling. So this is the most untoast toast. Um, this was sixty five pounds. Explain what you mean by untoast toast for anyone who maybe wouldn't know. So untoast toast, I say it's about a lot of brands. A lot of brands specialise in different things, like I don't know, I, off the top of my head, like Fred it, Perry polo shirts. Well, yeah, Fred Perry polo shirts or tennis wear, like yeah, that yeah. retro tennis wear. Um, toast is a utility brand it's made for things that last for a long time and can be reworn repaired um you know corduroys denims heavy 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 cotton not linen floral prints these were me and m they were five pounds they're a pair of jeans but bethany was concerned because these actually were sold as seen as well and I could find nothing. That's why I'm weirdly looking at the crotch because that's the on ladies' jeans where bit, he usually wears the, first. The denim looks a little bit rippled when holding them up, but we've seen them and we have photographed them and they are They're beautiful. Be nice. They are. £3.20. This is why you should never put things bids. on bids. you got to ask yourself, <laughs> haven't you? That's a comp for you, isn't it? £3.20. Yeah. Jeez Louise. Bids. Once again, see, so I, 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 see, I see a lot of the time you know, people reference uh, comps, which is cool. And that's why it's important to kind of have an overview of comps. Yeah. Not just pick one out and say, well, they went for £3.20, they're worth nothing. You know, you could do that, but you got to kind of see the thing as a big picture, guys. Bigger picture. That was just really cute. Yeah, Marks it was. Spencers. Marks and Spencers, yeah. Good old Marks and Spencers. Uh, the only Marks and Spencers I pick up is Marks and Spencers, and I like the Alexa Chung collab. Oh, fair enough. I just like it. We had a piece of that recently, didn't we? Yeah, it doesn't sell for a lot, but it's cute, so we sell it. Fair enough. Does that make sense? One hundred percent. We sell cute things. We sell cute things. <laughs> we sell some things which aren't so cute, but you know, it is what it is. To be honest, the shop was nice to look round. It was an enjoyment to look round, but it is spenny. Spenny. It wasn't even spenny. Like, do you know what? I, I don't. I don't want to come off like we're moaning or like. Well, I am. I guess it's really, really expensive. But it's more the fact that I. I don't think you'd be. You'd pay these prices even if you were buying it for yourself in a million years. Mm, I wouldn't in a charity shop personally. These are real python um, kind of cowboy boots I guess you'd call them from a company which is which which, uh, which I can't even read in there 
is say here Sever Sir Sendra. Um, basically, these these uh, prices here, the comps on the screen, like two hundred pounds. Most average boots, especially in Python, not just leather, but the Python specifically, were like three to four, maybe even five hundred pounds used on eBay. Um, but most sold were more like two, three hundred. Having said that, if you find a pair for like ten, fifteen quid, bargain. Buy them. Um, and most of the time, I I gotta say. If those are a small market as regards what you're selling, mm -hmm. um, you, you, when you do see them in charity shops, they're usually cheap. Yeah, yeah. So, um, these are joggers. These are like tailored joggers from Givenchy. Um, these were £100. £100. Same chap. Austin actually spent more time looking at them for himself than for resale purposes. They, he had like the they, they are Givenchy uh, joggers are like outstanding as regards brand new prices and even used two fifty three hundred is is kind of the norm. Um, the reason I didn't pick them up to be really honest is was a hundred pound. I don't want to spend a hundred pound on a pair of joggers because it, I two or three. I just think that's a lot of money for a pre owned item uh, for a, even if it's even not if it's that, new. I sometimes think right, and uh, we're being very picky at the moment in thrift shops or yeah, the trash shops but sometimes i think am i buying it because it's in front of me now obviously that's the the thrill of charity shop shopping but sometimes i think like if i went on vinted I could i find say, a cheaper or you say, know if, if i showed you two because once again the ones i'm holding out uh G giovanni versace um same once again same chap and there were also some james purse i believe as well all 100 pounds a piece um and the mad thing is, if I said to you, I'd give you £300 to go and buy three pairs, three pairs of joggers and vintage, I wouldn't spend you'd on that. slap me. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, um, I that, didn't, I'd buy handbags. It's just... Th that was a really nice, uh, like, kind of duffel coat from Barber. Oh, um, they wanted, I think, I think it was 60 or maybe 65-ish. Um, once again, they go for good money. But Barber, if I'm, if I'm honest, I don't see them as duffel coat companies. No, I, you know I mean? wax, wax and leather. Wax and leather, guys. Let's go. Wax and, and, and if I'm spending 60 or 70 quid on something, it's got, to be, mean, it's got to be what they're known for. However, if it's at the right price point, snap it up. Snap, 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 snap. This is snap. all based on prices, obviously, the, yes. the, the discussion we've just had. Anyway, that was the most expensive charity shop in the universe. Well, we'll at least we'll we We'll go were. back to... Cheap ones next week, hopefully. Hopefully. We got for some my, good stuff, though. For my sake, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Bye.